Hello fellow artists, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, I have a new monitor and it's 4K. This is my first Philips and I think it handles really well. Um, hopefully for now I'm going to record all my tutorials on 4K. In the meantime, let me know if this will be helpful for you to see better what I'm doing. The quality maybe is better. Right now I'm just using the most famous base mesh on ZBrush. I'm trying to just make a simple body. I don't want to go in too many details because as I said in the first uh, video, I just want to keep it simple, but in the same time to have uh, the simple shape of the cartoon character. If you are using this uh, reference model, be aware you need to bake all layers because you can rotate and modify the arms of this reference image. So after that I just scale down by using the formation and using size of the model. Next step, as you can see, I am trying to make it more smaller and make a body of a young boy with all the anatomy that needs to be there. But this is my problem on working on this cartoon character. I'm so used to create details like wrinkles, like knees, details, knees, and legs, anything that I'm so forcing myself not to go in too much detail <laughs> because the retopology will be super simple just with more anatomy shapes because this is the hardest thing to keep it as simple as I can but to have the shape that sends you okay this is a cartoon character this has some proportion etc. From my experience so far I really discovered that uh, making simple things is harder to make complicated uh, shapes because let's take an older woman study portrait you have bunch of wrinkles details that are exaggerated naturally so you're just trying to understand that shape and copy on your model. So maybe some people will say that's hard, but that's pretty easy because you can cheat a lot. Even if you get just one or two wrinkles correct and then you can cheat the rest of them and still look uh, uh, good. But the simple shapes uh, I want to give you an example. I'm not sure if you are familiar with uh, Konstantin Burkush, Romanian sculptor. He has a work that it's called Mademoiselle Pogani. And if you're looking up on Google uh, Mademoiselle Pogani stages, you can find that the first shape that he gave in marble and you can see the final one. And that's, that required a bunch of years to get there to have the perfect shape the perfect simple shape so that's why I find a simple sculpture that attract you and you don't understand why do you like to see that simple shape and why do you like it but mostly I think because in behind the scene let's say it's a lot of years of study to get there so I think it's the same in this project because I'm so forcing myself not to go into much detail I went to the hand as you can see and then I start going to find some details like anatomy and uh, I know fingernails and then I say okay still let's keep it simple so that's interesting to go from, I don't know, making minotaurs or making sheep with detailed fur or, I don't know, and just relax a bit and let's uh, settle with a more basic 
uh, shape. I know that I recommend you an artist that um, actually influence or create the modern art. I want just to specific that I'm not a fan of modern art on all these days. People just take simple things and expose them. So <laughs> I do not like that. I'm more with Greek art and Renaissance art, Michelangelo, Leonardo, etc. Just wanted to point that out. After I realized that I lose too much time on the hand, I went to the legs and I decided that I do not need them so I'm not going to use the legs so I didn't make any changes and just uh, made the mask and split it then just separate those mesh and I start making some cartoon boots going fast forward on getting the shape uh, there because this will be used with retopology and I just need that boots that I like it so I'm just moving around and place it uh, where I think they are looking good then I decided that I want to add more details on it and I'm going to use them starter to shape out where I want it. It's so hard for me not to go into many details. It's hard to restrain myself from doing that. But in time, maybe I can do better cartoon characters. I do not have that much experience in cartoon characters, that's why I went and built this project because I want to work more. I was thinking it will be great a challenge to change, challenge myself. Let's say let's make one cartoon character or we can choose Disney characters already concept artists and make one character a day and work maximum one hour on that character by um, creating the model, posing and then rendering with uh, BPR in ZBrush. I think that will be an interesting challenge and I'm thinking to doing that when I will be more free and I will not be sick. Just simple masking and then go into subtool and press extract and have the basic mesh and then just trying to find a good scale and play around using uh, polish hard brush. I love working with this brush. It's super helpful in different types of projects. You can use it even in portraits that you can give that look of sculpturing more sharp edges. So I really use that a lot. Maybe you saw in the my past videos. And decided to continue with adding uh, damp southern lines because uh, I want to separate the shapes and I was thinking that this will be a good time to use polygroup poly it. And just did that. I just select symmetry and press which one I wanted. I did have some small problem at first but after I stopped the recording went well I knew what happened there. But just simple polygluten and going to polyframe you can see the all the mesh are separated. Then I wanted that the bottom of the uh, boot to be smooth so again I'm using polish hard uh, brush. 
then just playing around I wanted to separate that because it was the same color so I need a new uh, group so after I select I just pressed ctrl w and I had another color that I can separate it then just go, go on to geometry and went to panel loops delete what I didn't need it again after a few tries <laughs> Okay guys, hope you find this video helpful. I am really curious about some feedback on 4K uh, recording because from now on I'm hoping that all my video will be 4K. Maybe we'll have some HD, we'll see. Because I have so many plans on recording but I do not have time. I really want to record a real size real life sculpture, I was thinking about a portrait study, something like that, for beginning. Also, if you want to see that, you can leave a comment and say, okay, I want that. And then maybe I will record in HD because I do not have a camera for 4K, only my GoPro, so we shall see. But I'm really curious about the feedback on this video. Um, thank you for watching and see you next time. Take care.